All right, this next video is about how to attach this octopus-like beard onto Nemo. So we've got our nose already attached. I have two ends at the moment because uh, I didn't follow my own directions. So I will show you how to get rid of one of the ends. I'm going to sew in the end on the left because I prefer stitching my beard on from left from from right to left so by getting rid of this one i just find it a little bit easier so i'm just going to slide so i've left both of these on so i can show you how to sew them uh, up i'm going to sew up the one on my left side because i prefer stitching from right to left when I am doing this. So I just find it a little easier to hold the gnome that way and work that way. So whichever one you do, um, sort of watch maybe how I sew it up and um, you'll see how maybe you can hold it and practice holding it, uh, see which way you prefer holding your gnome. So the trick of course is to not lasso your nose. Uh, tie a bit of a loopy knot. Uh, so I just, I'll do that again because I went really fast while I was talking about not hooking my own nose. So. Uh, I went through the beard top, I made a loop. I went through the beard top, I made a loop. I go back through that loop, snug it down nice and tight and that creates a bit of a knot. And then what I wanna do is I want to somehow bury this end. And this is a little tougher because there's so little here holding this together. So I'm just gonna kind of skim along the top of the beard until I get to the nose. making sure not to accidentally tighten anything in there. And now I'm just gonna plunge that through and through the nose so that um, the end can just be buried inside of there. That is now the third end we've buried inside of our nose. And uh, let's see, what do you think? Should we bury the fourth end inside there too? <laughs> Alrighty, so what we need to do is we need to sew this beard between the ear flaps on the hat and we are going to use the fact that this beard is a bit bumpy and lumpy and by beard I mean I'm really just talking about this top bit that's holding it all together. So we want to sort of start with this end over here by the by the arm and then it will kind of play around so it's centered. So let's see how long I've got here. So this is one end, this is the other end. I want it centered, so there we go. Alrighty, so get that end back on the needle. We're gonna use the fact that it's a bit bumpy to hide things. So I'm gonna go down and I'm going to grab either one leg or both legs of a stitch right beside where the ear flap is. Like not too, too tight, depending on how you center yours, um, but taking that into account, go through and then kind of come up through that little top of the beard area. You want the beard to be up tight. All of the beards that I design, I want, I like them really up tight to the brim so that it really does look like there's no face. It's just nose popping out and the, the brim is really tight. So now we're gonna go over and use that little bit of a bump to disguise the fact that we're going over. Then we will peek down and grab that top visible row of stitching right below the brim and secure it that way. Then we will come back up through the top of the beard and we do not want to sew the nose down down so we're, now we're going to go between so i'm going to go down through the top of the beard grab that same row of stitching let's see did i go within this row so it's this one here about maybe that's too far over okay we'll go here see what that looks like Yeah, that looks about right. So that I wanna come back down. So that I'm gonna go under the nose. So now we go across, we go through the top of the beard, 
we grab another stitch from that top row and go through it. And that is how we do this. Always being careful that our end is not looping around part of the beard or part of the nose. It's a little bit like wrestling an octopus at times. Go through the top of that beard again. We are almost at the edge. I can feel it. It's a little hard to tell, but I can kind of sense where the, figure out which of the, the loopy curly cues is the farthest one and um, kind of trace it upwards and find out where the top of it is. So we'll go down, grab a leg, and then I'm gonna come up through that corner that marks the other end of the beard. And I'm gonna go back down, grab that, and then we will stop and we will see how that side looks. So let's see, yeah, that's nice and snug. That corner's not lifting or going anywhere. That side's looking good. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to do another one of my little knots so I'm going through, I'm creating a loop. I'm gonna go through that. If this would be a toy, I'd knot it one more time. Uh, and then I'm just going to plunge the needle through to the back of Nemo and cut that yarn and let that disappear. So that is the beard for Nemo. I hope you enjoyed how textural and unexpected this is. If you have more questions, always join us over in the Imagine Landscapes group. We are happy to answer questions there, and I love seeing pictures of your progress. Don't forget to use the hashtag NeverNotGnoming for any gnome design that I've got going. See you on Instagram and see you on Ravelry. Happy gnoming! <laughs>